hi welcome back to my channel once again my name is Peace Okafor your real estate investment advisor in Lagos Nigeria so today I'll be doing a continuation of this episode before you invest in an Airbnb popularly called shortlist in Nigeria what should you know what should you consider please do me a favor subscribe to this channel like this video and drop a comment if you gain value right so in my previous episode please if you've not watched those episodes i've released two episodes before this one just go back i'm gonna attach the video links at the end of this video so that you can go back there and watch so that you can get a background knowledge of what i'm talking about right so today i'm gonna be talking about the finances airbnb in nigeria can be it can be it can be so sweet you know that feeling of having an everyday cash flow i mean cool cash flow you get and steady cash flow you know airbnb is a perfect way to build passive income for yourself passive income good cash flow very sweet cash flow the money from airbnb is very very sweet you know and you know it is very steady comes steadily as long as you have a good occupancy rate as long as you're in a good location you have good occupancy rate you get but you should also know this it can be draining financially so aside from buying a new house you know the cost of buying a new house is like it's over the roof especially if you're going for a developed area it is over the roof already you know so aside the cost of the house you should also budget for furnishing you have to furnish it to taste not just any haphazard furnishing you have to furnish this so you should also budget for the furnishing you have to also budget for maintenance no maintenance too can be draining it's, it's an airbnb so you have to maintain every single time you know so you should also budget for maintenance and then you should also budget for advert costs. This particular one, a lot of people leave it out in their calculation. You know, why I'm emphasizing on all those costs is that you need them to do your numbers so that you will be able to calculate and do your analysis. Because if you get your numbers wrong, it might just be a, 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 a bad business totally for you. Especially when you're looking at getting a loan to start up this business. So don't get your numbers wrong. In the previous episode, I talked about getting market data. In this episode, I'm talking about costs. Don't forget adverts costs because you really need to run adverts almost throughout the year. Especially when you're just starting out. People need to know you. People, people need to know you. You have a lot of competitions. There are a lot of people offering the same services as yours. So you need to keep your adverts running. And advert rates these days are over the roof. Yes, you need to advertise on a lot of platforms. And you need to keep your adverts running 24-7. Don't forget to include advertising costs also, right? And then also include the cost of service charge especially if you're in a self-service estate and you know right now the cost of this in nigeria is really 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 overdue that's why i said it could be financially draining you know and you have to sustain this over a long time and like i advised one of my investors don't forget to always charge a caution fee even if a client is staying for one day charge a caution fee because to replace so you know to replace and maintain you know to replace a broken or a lost item can actually cost a lot so always charge a caution fee so that clients can be extra careful you know all those costs you know can actually make the whole thing so bulky and draining and discouraging but don't be discouraged airbnb is actually a fast booming business right now in lagos nigeria so if you're intending to invest in airbnb by all means go ahead but you need to be aware of the financial implication right also i didn't mention part of the running costs also um cost of salaries you have to pay your staff you have staff that you have to pay you know and and all of that so you need all this information in order to get your numbers right and know the implication of what you're going into but Airbnb is actually a good business, right? So if you actually need a breakdown or a detailed analysis of what it takes to set up an Airbnb business, 
my number he is on the description box and there's a link to schedule a call with me we can actually have a call and discuss this in depth right so i hope you gained value if you did please like this video subscribe to this channel and also drop a comment thank you so much and stay tuned to my next video don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get back to back real estate investment tips and also properties where you can invest in thank you